Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about subtracting polynomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, here are the first two examples on how to subtract polynomials. So ang magiging focus natin ngayon is kung paano ba mag-subtract ng polynomials. And by the way, in subtracting polynomials, it will lead you to addition of polynomials. So much better kung mamamaster mo at mapapanood mo yung video natin about adding polynomials. And dilalagay rin natin yung link nito sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first one, the quantity of 3x squared plus 5 minus x squared minus 1. So what will happen or how are we going to start subtracting these two polynomials? This is your first polynomial and this is your second polynomial. First thing you need to do is to copy the first set of polynomial. So we have here 3x squared plus 5. Then after that, after copying the first set of polynomial, the first polynomial, we will change this operation to addition. So this will become plus. And next, the second polynomial, lahat ng ito, or all of the signs of this of the terms of this polynomial will be changed. So if this is positive, it will become negative. If this is negative, it will become positive. So what will happen is this will become the quantity of negative x squared from positive x squared. From negative 1, it will become plus 1. And as you can see, as I've told you earlier, in subtracting polynomials, it will lead you to addition of polynomials. So now, we can do addition of polynomials, and we can do it horizontally or vertically, but in this case, I will do vertical subtraction. We have 3x squared plus 5, and then plus negative x squared plus 1. So add them, 3x squared plus negative x squared, there is a negative 1 here. So this is 2x squared. 5 plus 1 is 6. And this is now the difference of 3x squared plus 5 and x squared minus 1. Now let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, we have 7x squared plus 36 minus 5x squared plus x plus 9. So what will happen here? Same thing we need to do. Copy the first polynomial. So we have the quantity of 7x squared plus 36. And then change this operation to addition. And lastly, change the signs of all the terms of this polynomial. From positive, it will become negative 5x squared. This is negative x. This is negative 9 or minus. And after doing that, let's do vertical multiplication. We have 7x squared plus 0 plus 36. So why did I add 0 here? As you can see, this one is, is a two-term polynomial or binomial. Dito tatlong terms to. And we need x for that. Okay, if since wala tong x variable, we will put plus 0. Next natin, plus negative 5x squared. And this negative x will be aligned here sa 0. Then minus 9. Then do the, the, the addition. 7x squared minus 5x squared is definitely 2x squared. Then 0 plus negative x. This is just negative x. Then 36 minus 9. This is equal to plus 27. And this is now the difference of the first of the second polynomials that we have. 7x squared plus 36 minus 5x plus x plus 9. And as easy as that, guys. Now let's continue with the other two examples that we have today. So what we have here are 
trinomials that we're going to subtract. Number 3, meron tayong 12a squared, uh, 12a raised to the 5th power minus 6a minus 10a cubed. So dito guys, di ba we need to copy this one, right? And we will change this. So gagawin natin dito, hindi kasi tama yung arrangement ito, we need to um, rearrange them from the highest exponent of the variable going down. So we will start here. 12a raised to 5. This one will become, instead of negative 6a, we will have plus 0 because we have here a raised to the 4th power. And then, followed by negative 10 a cube we don't have a squared we don't have a squared here so we will proceed with negative 6a so what will happen here we will change this to addition this will become negative this will become positive this one is also positive so we will put it here plus negative 10 Oh, not. No. This is negative 2. It's negative 2. A raised to the 5th power. Followed by negative 14. A raised to the 4th power. And then, we don't have A cube in the second one. So, this is plus 0. Then, minus 10A. I have omitted some of the steps kasi kulang yung ating space but still we're doing good dito. So dito nakamali ako dito ng sulat. So first ni rearrange ko na sa negative 2a to the 5th power here. So we can add them. 12a to the 5th power minus 2a to the 5th power this is 10a raised to 5. 0 plus negative 14a to the 4th power, that is negative 14a to the 4th power. Negative 10a cubed plus 0, this is negative 10a cubed. And, I forgot a here. So we have here negative 6a plus negative 10a, this is negative 16a. And this is now the answer. So tell me if there's something wrong with our solution. And then sagot natin. So, what we have now is the fourth example. Let's proceed. So, I'm gonna move this paper first. Para magkaroon tayo enough space. Okay. Sige. Uh, we will do this one. Properly arranged. Properly arranged. So, what we need to do is to copy first. We have 9 R cube plus 5 R squared plus 11 R. Here, change this to addition. This one changed to a positive. This is negative. This is negative also. Okay? So plus positive 2r cube. This is negative 8r square. This is negative 9r. Add them. 9r cube plus 2r cubed, this is 11r cubed. Next, 5r squared minus 8r squared, this is negative 3r squared. 11r minus a plus negative 9r, this is positive 2r. And this is the answer, guys. So, medyo binilis ako na ng content, guys, kasi um, gusto ko matuto kayo, and then you can, ano naman, you can uh, replay this video so, kung, sa part, kung some part na medyo nabilisan kayo. So, I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismong example natin and I will give you example number 5 as part of our routine. I will give you this example for you to solve and I hope na makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer in this problem. So, what we have here is quantity of 4 b squared minus 11 minus b squared plus 5. So I hope na 
May natutunan kayo dito. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!